what's up guys welcome back to reality tv chats so guys we have some more updates here on the four-year-old that was left in the car yesterday by his teacher yes we have some more family members coming out to speak about that based on what happened and what they think happened you understand what i say but also here says like he was beaten to also because him have bruises on him and him clothes was him clothes is actually dirty and him said that him never left the car you understand me? I say so I don't know what I'm going on. Yeah man, but I make gonna go on the video still and see what I'm going on. And remember to please like, comment, subscribe and share. You can subscribe and turn on the post notification bell for more updates. Because I keep follow up on the story. Keep you guys updated. So let's get right into the video guys. <laughs> yeah. What happened? You know? I don't know. Um he just says he left me beat me in a car for morning the night. I don't know um, that I want to So how did the child get into the car? She bring him to school. From where? From his home. She pick him up. That's and bring him to school. Your home? No, his mother home. Yeah. And so she bring him to school. And she said, she, she, she bring more than one of them to school. Yeah. She said they come out left one. Mm -hmm. And she never looked in the car until we have to go home then say look for boy dead. And he still did not come out of the car but he's dirty. Mm -hmm. Beach beat my baby and put my baby dead body in the car. My baby dirty a fight, my baby a fight in my life. Fight. Dirty. And she said they come out of the car, she left him in the car. Oh the hell you for bring. Pitney come to school. And him come and the rest of them come out of the car and one left back, you know. And you are my teacher. You know, sister, you know, sister, you know, clock. Hmm? You know, see that? You go see it when times, when, when everybody has check up on him, when him, 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 come up at him, 12 o'clock. You say, you know, no way him there. When them call back again, you still say, you know, no way him there. And then, you go rush him, go in dead body, go speak to that. You leave out of me, you even know how to tell you something about so when son when the Miss Chala came for him at school, it was not be able nobody was seen? No. Them come up here field and nobody may see. Mm -hmm. Which she don't kill him and I'm having body in the car. Mm -hmm. Cause him dirty. Mm -hmm. Like she beat him or she lick him down, no know what she doing. But she said no come out of the car. Oh him dirty. He left out clean this ma clean yesterday morning. He take picture before him come to school. Clean. No dirt, nothing no dip on him. Oh, he come to school and he's dirty. And he, and he no come out of the car. He had a four year old picnic and left in a car. In space, uh, what? Four hours, five hours and so forth. That can um, You must know that too. He must have knocked out, pass out. He's not dead in space at four hours. Or, or what to him for five hours. He's not dead. No one like that, no one goes so. I don't, right now, I really just want to see the teacher to know what is what. Just that, that I want to see. I don't go to school now. I call the principal from, from a day, I'm staying there more than 10, 15 call. Phone ring, ring right out. So right now, I can't feel my paranoid. Because I come like they know what they do up here. I just that alone I can't free. Come like all of them know what they do up here and they wait to have one. Yeah. My name is Tabia. Yeah. So him auntie leaves school because him auntie go older school than him and she did have exam and exam finished 12 o'clock. She leaves school and come up here. She not see him. So she leave and go on a fair auntie them old. She leave and go on a fair auntie them old. Call fair mommy and say to her mommy, say mommy you know so I go up at Jay school and I not see Jay. My day up her aunt, like she said, my day up her auntie Sharon or whatsoever, right? The grandmother call the teacher, no, we are the teacher for the baby, we bring him come to the school. She am teacher, him class teacher, and she carry him come to school along with three other children. The grandmother call her after one, because school over one thirty. So the grandmother call her and ask, see where them they. When the granny call her now, she ever say, everything is okay, we so come, that after one. She never say no, say no wrong, no happen. The grandmother said she did they are weird for them to see them come. She can't see them. After three, the grandmother have to make a next phone call. When the grandmother ne make the next phone call, the teacher and about to answer the phone. It's the next teacher answer the phone. And she, the next the teacher answer the phone. I don't, the principal answer the phone. I don't know what happened. 
Auntie Nella does walk go to the car, I hear a loud scream, and she rushed out. She rushed out, gone to the St. Joseph Hospital with Jay. I don't know what happened. All the granny are trying to get me. I don't know, I don't know. When the baby mother run go up at St. Joseph Hospital, there is no baby there. No baby not there at St. Joseph Hospital. The children them go go see the baby dead. The baby dead. Lifeless. Cut up, cut up. Dirty. Come here, come here. Come on. Lunch, lunch paper, and the baby not get no lunch. And the baby not get no lunch. One foot of shoes, they in the they, they in the car with the baby. Where is the next foot of shoes? The next foot of shoes can't find. The baby pants yes sir. Dirty yo. I can show you the picture from my phone. I can show you how him come at school. This is how the baby come to school. This is how the baby come to school. And when the baby, when we go to the hospital, I go look for the baby. Yeah, so it's fine. not a case of abuse or anything. She forgot the child in the car. Obviously, when I'm not over there, so I don't really know. But to it look, it's like I got you forgot the child. I, right now, something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong. I hear what excuse are, are, are arguments she giving. Something is wrong. Definitely something is wrong. You understand? You are a teacher. The child is sitting in front of you. Right? You took his lunch money. Right? You're supposed to have his name because once you take his lunch money, you're supposed to have his name down for lunch. Right? And you go there and you order the lunch and you don't realize that Jaden Clark is not there. No, so Something is definitely wrong. Something is wrong. My belief is that is a, a child, you know, he don't really love to talk, you know. So not more than she could have talked to him more time and him leave not answer whatever. She get ignorant, right? And say, all right, you stay back in the car. car like you don't have any manners or whatever. You understand? And forget. You understand? Look how oh, can you 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 ever say you thought um he was he was he, he was on the play field playing him at class time when we know what they were playing with at his class time that is rubbish. Do you remember the last interaction you had with Jaden? It was last week, Tuesday, because normally I don't come here on a, on a weekday, and normally, and normally, and normally, like, come on a Sunday, because through the work, after be working like day and night, day and night, so the only time I really have is on a Sunday. And I don't know, I might just say, yeah, yeah, mate, now go over there and get some food and cook some nice food for me and my little family and things. That was the last time Tuesday was seen. See them there one year and all of their work. And we never come here for a weekday. Never. You understand? And a spirit just said, come here and look for some nice like, food for them and things and whatever. Whoa. The last time I see my grandson. I can't imagine what the family is doing. Yeah, tell them, man, when I sleep, when I talk, beer crying in the morning. You understand? I'm like a four year old baby. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was he thinking about the car? No, but the fuck of the matter is, you know, you miss him. You're supposed to call us and try to find out. Can you explain um, the condition that the mother was in? When she was in shock, she could even talk. You understand? All, the only thing what she could have done last night, I give me a hug and say my daughter just take it easy. You understand? At this morning, she took her boyfriend and thing, and I run, she run out. She said she going to kill herself. She going to run out now. She going to run him off and run her down. You understand? She take it to heart because it's her only child and the father and, 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 and the two of them first pick me. The only pick the two of them have. You understand? When she is pregnant and thing and I go to school, I uh, like she was about to leave. You understand? And me I say, for yourself what? You care your child. The greatest thing that you saw me old school. You understand? Bring your child.